Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to Pokemon Tower Defense Generations. This time we have... Bidoof! Tons and tons of Bidoof. <laughs> Alright, this is clearly some sort of part, of part of some sort of April Fool's joke on Sam's part. Um, I know that Bidoof is, Bidoof is obviously not familiar with the Pokemon itself, but I do know enough that it's one of those memed Pokemon like Mudkip. Um, which which is also which is another example of Pokemon to be completely unfamiliar with, um, and then um, there's like every single wild Pokemon is also Bidoof too. So I'm wondering if we catch a Bidoof, like for example this, the ones that go stealth like this, that's obviously supposed to be a Sentret. I'm wondering if we catch it though, will it turn back into a Sentret afterwards or not? Okay, so these are obviously my Ditto's. This is a, this is obviously my um, my Blastoise level 100. So like he'll just give him right. Um, so why don't we get, hmm, why don't we use Bind, because I don't think Bind does much damage. I want to try catching a, one of these Bidoof, I want to roll a save we, we catch. You got a Sentret, okay, so it says you catch a Sentret, okay, so Bidoof has not been added to the game. Basically, every model has been reskinned to look like Bidoof, I guess. Okay, that makes, I can understand now. That's interesting. So these are indeed Sentret. I was thinking that maybe Bidoof would only be available limited time for one for one time today, which would make Bidoof like the ultimate rare Pokemon because they're only available one day. <laughs> I think that'd be actually really funny and ironic. Um, but anyways, guys, the real point of this video is to um talk about is to go over the Easter egg hunt, or maybe not an Easter egg hunt, but the egg hunt, which starts at New Bark Town. And I was waiting, making my way back here. I don't know anything about it, to be honest. I know that it gives you a Baneary, which I think is another actually memed after Pokemon, and you have to talk to, talk to a scientist, so let's see if this is the guy. Salut salutations! Seems like Route 29 is open now, but my research area is still blocked. At least there is no more arguing going on. Route 29, so is, this route, is Route 29 up here? Oh wait, let's see. It seems only this area. I was talking about where we are. We're run along now. Okay, Route 29. Where was Route 29? Seems that Route 29 has okay, okay, no, no, no. Maybe that's the wrong scientist. I think that I think that, that right over there, over there, that's Route 29. Maybe this is the scientist. Ah, here we go. I, 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 you here for the egg hunt? Good. This is your chance to get a shiny Baneri. Ooh. Okay, so now we're real. I'll tell you a clue. We're gonna find the next scientist. Yes, we are generic scientists created for the sole purpose of this. Anyways. I'll give you the clue, and you go find the scientist, and he gives you the next clue until you finally get the prize. Okay, clue number one. The si this scientist is in a tall building that shakes like a bell sprout. Go, go, go! I think I know where that is. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so we're heading up to the Bellsprout Tower now. Um, um I think there's only, there's only one level of the Bellsprout Tower, so it should be fairly obvious where the guy is. Let's see. There he is. You found me! I hope you didn't use YouTube! <laughs> um... That's that's going out to you guys, right? <laughs> well, I kind of hope that you did use YouTube because then I would be helpful. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> that's like that's like something I would say. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm so funny. <laughs> Must have taken forever to walk here. Anyways, clue number two is the next scientist is hanging out where you get Onyx. Go go go! I know where that I know where that is. That's actually quite close by, so we don't probably we probably don't need to do a cut. Where you get the onyx, I actually did it in my Let's Play episode, like episode 3 probably? Maybe, maybe 4. Um, but he's somewhere right over here. Um, he has the bell sprout now because we traded the bell sprout for it. Here he is. Oh, he's a, he's a Bidoof! <laughs> I wonder if we talk to the, well, let's say, bell sprout, bell, okay. Okay, yeah, he doesn't change his text. Well, well, you are a smart one, you are a smart one, aren't you? Clue number 3, last clue, almost there, stuff! You know what I'm you know what I'm tired of? Clues that tell you exactly where he is. 
He is at Mr. Pokemon's house. Easy, right? Go, go, go. Okay, Mr. Pokemon's house is somewhere... Oop. Is a little bit backtracking. I think it's on that first route where you get all those Caterpies in the gold version, Weedles in the, in the silver version. I'm gonna head over there. Hopefully before it gets nightfall. <laughs> so that everything doesn't become dark. And I'll catch you guys there. I don't know if you saw that, that but that BDF, that BDoof back there used a, uh, that BDoof used Vine Whip, and that BDoof used Vine Whip too, on that other BDoof, dang. Oh, shoot. Wait. Yeah, yeah looks like this is it. Mr. Pokemon's house. Nailed it! You have completed the egg, egg hunt! Your prize is as many shiny Baneri as you want! Just talk to me again to get more! Oh! Oh, so we fight them. Oh. We can... Alright guys, thanks for watching. I guess that's it. This is the end of the egg hunt. We can just talk to this guy, like, spam this guy over and over again. And then just constantly catch them I believe right oh they look like oh, obviously they're gonna look like Bidoof but they're only available for this week so they're basically like another mystery gift code so you better spam them you guys know what to do you've seen this video thanks guys for watching once again hope you enjoyed um be sure to stay tuned to my channel for tons of new Pokemon Tower Defense story content as it's added and Master and Collector and Master Breeder will be coming out the thing is I have to um I need to get new music because the music that I use for it is from Pokemon Puzzle League and that's copyrighted so I don't want to continue using that. I really like that music and I, I I hope you guys like that music too. It's a really awesome music and nostalgic music for me. But I need to do new music um, and once I got that settled you'll definitely be seeing some of that. So I will catch you guys later.